All right, guys. So it's uh, day three now. Sun. Oh God, I just almost fell into the creek. Day three. Uh, the beginning of it. I don't think last video we have obviously had. I think we had a couple clips at night. We did a little night riding last night. Actually did some pretty spicy stuff and didn't really film because it's really hard to get shots, but trying to go out and enjoy ourselves, you know, without having to worry about filming everything. So we had a good time, but now first trail of the day, we're hitting uh, fish fossil. So we're gonna see how that goes. And then I think we're planning on going to Grapevine, Turbo Hill, we're gonna go check out. Um, there's one more, I think Intimidator maybe. I'm not sure, but we'll let you guys know what trail we're on, but here is, uh, this is a uh, fish fossil. back there bebopping through what's up guys welcome back i think billy introed but here i am <laughs> so we went on a little night ride last night kind of made it our, our own trail wish we could have showed you guys but filming at night's a struggle plus it's just fun uh sometimes to get out and do some riding without filming but dude things got buck we were buried in some ravine, right wedged into the wall and stuff. Wall rode out of it. It was sick, but there really wasn't much we could do for filming. It was so dark. But uh, but it's a cool trail that we kind of made. It wasn't even named or anything, so I don't know what it was. But we're out here on Fish Fossil and uh, just crawling our way up it. Josh just made up that little ledge. Um, we were passing the camera by and didn't even miss. Didn't even get it. He just drove right up it. But hope you guys enjoy the video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, grab some merch on Teespring, and uh, we'll see ya, see ya when Billy comes up. guys so now we're at this next obstacle that was the first little ledge that we just showed you so there's this one which to be honest probably isn't even worth filming well you just drive right up it so we're gonna go over give this one a bump it's like the right side of the second ledge so, a little waterfall see what happens if the Zillas can strike crawl it.
Alright, Josh is gonna bump this other way. Guys, here comes Ethan. Going up the same line Josh did. Let's see how the old can air does. Uh, <laughs> Pretty cool trail though. Nothing, nothing hard. you can and bash into that big rock <laughs> but the one time I tried to go decently fast and go around the rock with the front at least it smacked the front into that rock so hard and uh, it was rough it definitely felt like break my steering or rack or something but it didn't go well for me Let's see how it goes for Billy the YXC turned around <laughs> no clearance big hauls you can tell some rig was out here just tearing in the earth. Billy's about to blow up out. If you drive like 900 miles an hour, you might make it. Yeah, if you just floor it. That's fucking scary. Floor it and pray to Yamaha Way. Good luck. Good luck to that belt. Oh, no. Super zoomed in and trying to not shake.
Giants, and it's rigged that I am. <laughs> that's for sure. Plus, I think, I don't know, I mean, he's got more wheel speed, you know? At low, he goes 60 miles an hour. I don't know if that plays into it, but. Definitely. I yeah, think he's a little taller, a little shorter. Sound, I mean, yeah, maybe the wheels are in different pockets. I don't know. Don't matter. He made it. What a job. Well, guys, that was a pretty fun trail. The top's super spicy, super slippery, and uh, I don't think I had the clearance for it. It seemed like I was just bellying out at the top. Um, pretty sure Billy put it in firm, so he's got a couple more inches of ground clearance than me. Plus, my Zillas are getting a little low on their life. I think they're only measuring like 30 and a half these days. Big sad. <laughs> but nonetheless, she held together. That's all that matters. Gave her hell. On to the next one. Well, guys, we got a, a little bit of a belt changing party going on. Old Tippy, as you guys seen, smoked the belt pretty hard. It didn't blow yet, but it's real jerky. And, uh, smells scary in here. Smells scary. Smokes. So, just changing the belt before it blows and detonates something else or gets wrapped all around the clutches. Uh, Ethan's got some other issues going on over here. Yeah. Yours was, was squealing. Squealing, yes. It, uh, it's the rollers on the secondary, they're Gone. non-existent. Yeah, so I guess that's a common issue. I haven't really heard of it, but I also don't really pay much attention to that stuff. Because when you watch the forums, everybody says everything's junk, so it's hard to, <laughs> hard to know what to believe. I mean, but they are all junk. They are it certainly. Doesn't matter which one you buy, they're junk. They are certainly all junk, but the forums say you need to build the entire drivetrain, and I don't know if that's necessarily true. For me, anyways. But Ooh. changing the old belt. Take a whiff of that. Smells rough. You guys smell that? <laughs> That's our Trinity. Yeah. It's... Well, guys, we're uh, changing some belts. So Ethan's kind of screwed here, but uh, we'll get back with you guys when we're done. Good thing I ain't about this life. Yeah. 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 What's up guys? So, we are at Turbo Hill, or what we think is Turbo Hill. Billy's gonna give it a whirl. sick. Well guys, we got uh, got Ethan's rig towed back to camp like you guys saw. I think that's the last time we talked to you. Billy changed his belt, towed Ethan back, and then we ran up to, uh, I think it was like the ball knob overlook or something like that and uh and ate some lunch so that's where those drone shots were from now billy's playing around he wanted to hit there's some hill in uh in middle fork here called turbo hill i guess so i think that's what he just went up but playing around they were gonna go get go back and hit some more rock crawl trails see what else we can find all right so we just got out here to justified it's a class four for whatever that's worth it's uh down here just past the, um, the zipline parking area. So, haven't heard of it. it looks kind of cool at the base of it. Might not show you guys much of it. Depends on how spicy it gets, but Josh is gonna sit this one out. How come? 
Oh, the peeps. My radiator is in just a fantastic spot. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you guys. I think you can see it. Pretty good, Ty. He's not doing good with us. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. At least half of the radiator is still showing. So she's getting up there in the temps. But you know, this might be her last run, so that's okay. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> But anyways, we'll get back to you guys. I think Josh is going to sit it out and uh, probably meet us at the next trail. I don't know it's called, like, Upper... Pucker, Upper... Pucker, Upper, Upper, pucker, pucker, upper pucker, pucker, Pucker. We done trouble? Yeah, it's Yeah, I think we did. But we'll see you guys there. Or maybe see you somewhere on Justified. Hopefully it's cool enough. Well, guys, turns out it's pretty cool already. Figured I'd... Film Billy going up this. Alright guys, so we got out here to Valve Stem. It's coming off of Bruiser. And uh, I think we're like a little way up at, a little ways up at a Bruiser like cuts through that in the middle of it it looks like. But the bottom side doesn't really look doable for a side by side. But um, the top looks pretty cool. And I'm gonna give it a go right now.
it this way. Keep doing that, just keep giving her bumps over to whatever right. line Josh says. That was a fun trail. So uh, just getting out the top, Josh is going around. I think he's saving his full send for the waterfall one more time, from what I hear. <laughs> so um, I think he's getting pretty beat up in the old YXZ. You can tell the spirits are down on Josh for sure, but hopefully that won't be for long. We're on some random jump that I found last night. We didn't film because it was dark. That's so smooth. I know, I told you. It's sick. guys we're back at the waterfall Josh is gonna give her a good hawk I think we'll see how it goes nice save there you go You just cheat into that wall so bad. Good lord. Oh my god, stop! Hey, stop, stop! Stuff fell out. This your phone charger, you know? 
You're working her this way though, bud. Yeah, you're... Oh yeah, this is great. <laughs> How's it hanging? Oh, hey, this is cool. Get another one out here. Let's go. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be after this one. Get the green one next. You don't have that line. Yeah. And it's too undercut. If he was over more, maybe. It, you're, it's just swallowing your tire. Sunday going. This is the only time. Last time. Last time? Yeah. Okay. I'm showing it again. serious air like I don't even know if I got it all because you just you booted it, it was, I figured it was just on it and I'm zoomed all the way out and you jumped literally jumped out of the screen tippies up <laughs> So we uh, getting all loaded up here next morning. I'm sure this is quite the long video. I'm not sure how it'll be broken up. It's hard to keep track of how long the footage is as we go. But, um, I'll quit rambling on. It was a really fun trip. This place is awesome. The rigs did awesome. Didn't break anything. As you guys seen, we towed Ethan back. It's his, uh, his rollers on his clutch blew out. So didn't want to risk ruining his clutches. So I towed him back and uh, he rode with Billy the rest of the day, but awesome place. Um, we were trying to fit four rigs on the trailer. We were trying to see if we could drive one rig up with the ramps and stuff that we got. Didn't work out. Big sad. Cause Josh got something waiting on a dealer, waiting at the dealer on the way home. But turns out you guys have to wait for the next video to find out. <laughs> So, see you guys there. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the videos.